Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're looking at the Greenworks Pro 80 volt backpack leaf blower. So it's a really nice backpack leaf blower. I've owned it for about five years. It is the older model, which is the 580 CFM. The newer version is 610. Uses the one battery. Just insert it like that. That snaps in place to remove the battery. Push down, push that button in, comes up. They do make an even bigger version of this now that put two batteries in. This one is a really nice weight and the, and the price was right. When I bought this, it was less than $300. The, that newer, really large version with two batteries, it's, got, it's like $800, $900. Seems like too much for a, for a leaf blower. And the weight of this is so nice. Uh, one of my kids when he was four or five years old was was wearing this and using it So it's comfortable even for kids to use It's got this strap that can go on the front Goes to the strap across your chest if you want to use that. I typically don't use that I just wear it like a like a backpack without clipping that optional piece When it's running, the air intake is right here on the left side. So if you have any loose clothing or uh, or if some leaves end up blocking this, you'll hear a difference in the sound it's making. You'll know that it's blocked, and you can uh, and you can uncover that. You come over this side. This rotates so you can hold it in a comfortable position for your wrist. This can detach right here. You want to use it shorter, and I think they have attachments so you can use it for cleaning out your, your gutters on your house. The end here has a metal tip so you won't be breaking the plastic. I'll take a look at the controls. You have your trigger switch right here if you want to use it just for on off like that. It has your cruise control switch that they call it. Turn this lever down, it will stay on without having to pull the trigger down, and you can hold it a little more comfortably. And then you also have the turbo button. After five years or so, the one thing that has failed on this, I was a little bit confused about it initially, is this screw right here was loosening. So when I had the cruise control on, it was slowly turning back until it shut itself off. I was like, what's going on? Check the battery, the battery is fine. Go to reuse again and it works again, but then it turns itself off again. So I figured figured that out. You just need to tighten that screw back down, and then this cruise control lever will work fine again. I'm using what I think is the two point yeah standard run. It's the 2.5 amp hour battery, so I don't have the really long runtime on this, but I do have a couple of the these small batteries, so I can switch back and forth. And while I'm using one, the other is charging. And for some safety gear, this isn't very loud at all, but I still do wear the earmuffs for ear protection, and I wear eye protection if I end up blowing some dust around, don't want that in your eyes. So let's take this outside, see what it can do. This works great for cleaning off the deck, whether it's leaves, or in the spring if it's pollen, or after it rains, if you want to dry it off faster, you can blow off the rain off the deck.
right, with this leaf blower, it has been quite powerful enough to get everything, you know, more than 20 feet across the grass. And given the amount of trees that I have, it really piles up fast. So what I do, I blow everything into, into a center row wherever I'm working, and then I use the leaf tarp to pull it off into the woods after that. can tell is it adjustable and here's your cruise control and here's your turbo So I started using this on a fresh battery. I'm gonna keep going until it runs out and see how long it will last. Right, battery just ran out. That's the standard run 2.5 amp hour battery. We cleared off the deck and patio back there and about halfway around my house, including getting the leaves out of the flower beds and the shrubs. So one more battery to finish around outside of my house. A few more charges for the far front and far backyards, and I'd be all done. Probably could finish it all in a weekend. And as you can see, fully used up the battery. That battery is getting pretty old. It's uh, easily five years old. So the, I'm sure the runtime is not as good as when it was brand new. I checked the record times on those videos I just got. Use this for about 12 minutes straight, including a little bit of using the uh, turbo feature maybe for a, a minute or two of that time. The main reason I bought this, because I already had the Greenworks chainsaw, which I already had batteries from, makes sense to keep buying stuff on the same platform, and then you can share batteries between tools. And in this case, I have multiples of the batteries. And with the standard run 2.5 amp hour battery, you can use three of them continuously after you're done using the third one. The first one is done charging, and you can just keep going like that all day long. So all, all said and done, i definitely buy this again. It packs a punch in a very small package. It's lightweight. Even the kids can use this. Remember, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.